Hey guys, it's Wolf and we're back with Timberborn. And if you don't remember, we're playing on hardcore, which means our droughts go anywhere from, you know, 9, 12 days to 30 days. And in the last episode, we built our first attempt at a mega reservoir. I don't like it. It's too much surface area. We're going to lose too much water to evaporation. But it's what we have for now, while the beavers work hard at building their homes and getting all their other things going. This is kind of what we're dealing with for now. We are in the middle of a 12 day drought, I think is what we left it on. So we have nine days left of drought. That's not so bad. We'll figure it out. Uh, we will figure it out. We are working on a, another micro reservoir down here to try and keep this area green so we can expand our farming and forestry because uh, right now we could use some more of both. Speaking of farming and forestry, we're running out of carrots really rapidly right now. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Good thing we have a big area down here where I can build a new farmhouse. Yeah, we're going to put it, what do y'all think, right there. And that'll give them access to all of this area. And we're going to high prioritize you. And we're also going to make it a high priority because we have three beavers without a job. We're starting to make more beavers than we have food and stuff to deal with. So let's speed it up. Hopefully they'll get there. I'm not sure what that static is. And my microphone. That was kind of annoying. Sorry. I don't know if it's picking up a cell phone or what. Anyway, let's get back to this. We're going to get this built. We're going to plant. Um, we're going to get rid of all of this in here. So there's... I know that the stumps don't need to be keyed for removal once I do stuff, but all of this other stuff over here, I need to get rid of. And we're gonna turn this into a nice, pretty little farming area. There we go. Now that looks perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Love that, love, 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 love that, okay. But we are still losing food at a pretty rapid rate. So I am going to pause one of our breeding pods for now. At least until we get all the potatoes and stuff. Uh, we always need logs here and potatoes. Is it because there's not a storage spot for the potatoes? I do not have a storage shed for just normal potatoes. Let's build storage. Where's it at? For potatoes. Potatoes. Do small storage right here and right here for the potatoes because these ideally are just where the raw potatoes where's the food potato no that's bread where's the food there it is spuds potatoes and as those get built we'll just start accepting oh we even finished our little levy right awesome. which means we're gonna have a little dam in here so my thing is, can I, how far can I reach? If I get rid of this wall that I built here, and I just path all the way through it, can I reach down here? Oh, I can. Oh, that makes this even better. We're gonna have a nice, a little bit bigger of a levee, or a dam down here then. That works for me. That definitely works for me. And we're gonna put that. Everything is gonna be a high priority. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, perfect. Our food is starting to catch up again. We have potatoes, we have carrots, we have little bit of blueberries not many because they're starting to use them for food which is not ideal but we'll get there we will get there these are prioritized planting and these are prioritized harvesting so we always have two beavers planting two beavers harvesting unconnected building oh you got built but the yeah the ladders aren't built yet that's fine that's perfectly fine I'm not super worried about that for now what, what do we have that lacks materials? We just don't have enough logs right now. Interesting. Well, we do have one unemployed beaver, so let's do a, another... 
wood cutter. I'll just bloop. High priority that. That way it gets built really quick. It's not like it requires resources. It just requires them to not be lazy. Forty ounces of coffee. It's a gift from the gods, I swear. Anyway, <clears throat> they have not started down here yet on this project. We have one day left until the floods happen, which is fine. We'll still maintain a little bit of water in here because of this. It'll just overflow and go that way instead of up over this dam, which isn't really what we wanted, but it happens. It happens. Maybe if I had been a little bit more cognizant in my abilities of uh, mapping things out, it wouldn't have happened, but it is what it is. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. It is almost the wet season. Our, we barely even touched our mega reservoir in 12 days. It's only down like half. Is it even down a full one? What was our max? 2.67. We went down 0.67. So a little bit over half is all it took. That's wild. 12 days for half a block from our mega reservoir. That's not too bad. Um, the water right here could use a little bit of a top off, but it's going to be just fine because it's now the wet season in 0.2 days. So we made it through the 12 day drought, no issues. We still have water back here in this reservoir for now. Um, what I would like to start doing though, as the wet season hits is start planning. Okay, we're back and we have a 14 day drought, which is a little intimidating. That's the longest drought we've had so far. <clears throat> we will see how this goes. I'm trying to expand our wood right now, our forestry. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully expand from one little wood patch over here to down along this and maybe even down into this area down here if we uh, could get a path built right about here. Probably closer to like right here, actually. And that would give us some nice access into the uh, area over here that we're trying to work with. But yeah, we'll see. See, even that one path right there is giving me access down here, which is going to be nice be able to plant a massive area down here as long as this area all stays hydrated but I'm super worried 14 days is a very big drought it's at least one day longer than our longest drought that we've already had and what's our water level currently at we are at 2.55 okay 
We have our infrastructure being built up here for this, which is nice. Um, why aren't you connected yet? Oh, they haven't built the last staircase right there yet. Okay. And they also don't have a path over to our thing. But so, okay, we now have all of our housing over here done. So I don't care about this anymore. We have zero beavers that live outside. I don't know how many this is going to affect. Uh, still zero. We still have 16 empty beds. Perfect. Oh, that's actually really good. So our beavers can all hang out up here. Our little housing area went perfectly fine. More or less. About as perfect as it could get. They're building down here, which means next wet season we'll have a slightly larger water reservoir. Uh, this should be getting built. It's not getting any of the logs or planks. What's my priority? It's super. Uh, oh, it's construction site isn't high. It's workplaces. Oops. There we go. Now we should get that. And I'm also going to need a person who cuts the wood, the lumberjack. He's going to have to go about right here. And his coverage is pretty much the exact same as his coverage, more or less. So not a super big deal there. Nothing to do in range is what he's going to say. Yep, there we go. Nothing to do in range. But nothing he can do until we get two more logs and five more planks and we start planting. So as we start planting, let's go to our trees. We're going to want maples. Maples give us a whole lot of them. So let's, let's see right here. We're going to do a big maple patch just down here. And I think that'll pretty much do it for this area. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, this is a big drought. And we're also going to put a gatherer flag so she can, he can, whoever, what gender it is, can collect from the chestnuts that we put right here. There we go. And the Harfoots have expanded once more. All of these blueberries are still marked for demolition. So can we get those? Mark resources for demolition. Yes. And these like to clean up up here a little bit. Uh, they only need one more and they should be good. So he'll start planting soon. I'm going to start cutting trees, cutting trees, cutting trees. We're going to fix our cutting paths here. Nothing right here. And we're not going to cut the chestnut trees down, which I think came to like right there. I can't remember. Eh, close enough. It's like one over. Let me go back to cutting trees. That's fine. And then all of this down here will definitely end up getting cut down. So that needs to get cut. All of that needs to get cut. And then all of this needs to get cut. Then we can just do that for the paths because I am very weird about my pathing and I don't like I like the way it looks when it's nice and clean and separated like that you know it just looks good look at it look at it and then we're also going to mark this cutting area I guess one at a time because it's completely ununiform in every way no I messed it up oh god okay there we go we still have 8.7 days left. I'm going to pause you because we don't need you to gather right now. We need... What do you mean you're not connected to a district? Neither are you. Do I not reach down there? Is my district center too far away? Oh, it is. Interesting. Well, it's time to move the Harfoots district center anyway. I was going to move it down here. That way it's closer to more of my main stuff. So let's go over here. It's going to be under, where is it? Where is it? Paths and Structures District Center. And that still leaves everything in this area connected. And it adds more down here. I don't really care about up here too much. Ooh, 
that might affect me building this new reservoir. That's fine. We'll path over here maybe and get up to it that way. We'll find a way to finish that. That's not a super big deal. Or I could do half and half. We'll get rid of it and we'll put it like in the middle. That's a district gate. I need a center. And there we go. That reaches pretty much everything that we need to reach. Okay, so... The Harfoots. Okay, there we go. Things have changed a little bit, but eh, more or less, it's the same people. Okay, okay, okay. Our breeding pods need to catch up. We need more breeder. More breeding, more breeding. We need more breeding pods. I need more people. Let's build a fourth breeding pod. Breeding pod, breeding pod. I'm losing my freaking mind because this drought is scary. It's actually not that bad. It's what? Day, eight days left of the drought, which means we're six days in. No, um, haven't done much of anything, really. Our pumps are still going, but we've barely touched this reservoir in six days. 2.31. Yeah, we've barely touched that reservoir. I'm mostly worried about losing the water from up here. During the next wet season, this is all going to be a max priority. We're going to change things up because down here is almost done. I can even start getting rid of these. That way they can recycle some of the logs at least. Let them recycle those logs a little bit. That way we can get some more water getting pulled up up here. Um, our forester is now starting to go and plant his little plant. He's going to go in concentric circles just outward from where he is, which is perfectly fine. Uh, you cannot do anything until these are built, which is fine. The big maple area down there doesn't need to get built just yet. Not just yet, at least. Not just yet. So we just need these two dams built in the next six days. Perfect. Water reservoir doing great. The mega reservoir maintains its integrity at 2.26. Mmm. Kind of curious though, if I could build a bigger area just to flood it even higher. How high could I flood it? One more? Because technically the max height of the water source is one higher. Can you build on top of water sources? You cannot. Does that mean water can't flood backwards over a water source though? Because that's the issue is if I like tried to make this a big dam and tried to flood it as much as possible because I still have another one block over here. So I could at least try to flood it one block higher. Because I have one over here before it starts to spill over into this. And oh God, I didn't even think about down here. We're not touching that just yet. We've still got six days. Our water retention. How's it looking? How's it looking? How's it looking? And probably could do with a little bit. Water getting dropped. Drop about half a block into here. It'll fill it up just a little bit. Not enough to overflow it. Perfect. Oh, and we only need this one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And here comes our little beaver. He's doing his dang right there. Planting more, starting to plant the chestnuts. That's a birch leftover. Why didn't you cut that down? Hmm. Oh God, my freaking sinuses are shot and I don't know why. It just keeps getting hot and cold here. It's quite annoying. Okay, so more or less, our food is good. We have max baked potato maxed carrot and maxed berries i think this little storage area really that and adding two more farmhouses really did the work on that um we're gonna start working on making our beavers a little bit happier and at the same time kind of working on this uh, water situation still not sure why i'm getting that static buzzing in my headset i might need to check it later 
But I did get a new microphone, and I apologize for the inconsistency in my videos for the past few days. Upgraded my CPU on my computer, and it decided to throw me for a few loops. Yeah, just a few. We're not going to talk about it. Yeah, I was very upset for a while. Oh, they've started work over here. Yes, okay. Um, we're going to start high prioritizing all of this, because this is our biggest priority now, is this becoming not really a mega reservoir, but at least a bigger secondary backup reservoir. Because I can bring these up one level, or I can get the three high ones when necessary. Um, we have one beaver without a job currently. How much? Uh, power input 35 of 120. It's because he's powering... Okay. What if we did two? <clears throat> Hear me out. Let's do the... Mmm, an engine. Interesting. We'll get there one day, I promise. For now, though, beaver power. Just, just for now. I know it takes like 40 logs. We'll get there. Almost all of our trees are planted. Mmm, <laughs> my nose. Jeez. Uh, gonna get all my nerves. We're gonna do some storage down here. We're gonna do... A medium warehouse for storing the goods. Two small warehouses next to it for storing the raw goods. So this is going to be raw chestnut. Raw chestnut. This is going to be... Where is it? grilled chestnuts and then we're going to go to food to get a grill a grill mm, I really wish you could mirror buildings because if this was on the left it would be perfect mm. how do I want to do this uh, like that eh, just do it like that I guess and then do a path up right here and then that's so convoluted stuff has to go like in weird directions like that just because the game's like now nah, you're good you don't need normal pathing that's fine that's perfectly fine okay that'll deal with the chestnuts once the chestnuts become a real thing not really a big issue right now we are on oh we're already 13 days into the drought oh my god or 12 days into the 13 day drought we are at water level two which means we've gone down officially 0.68 of a block because 1.68 is the overflow level. That means water right here has dried up. Not good. Um, I'm not sure if dumping all of my water will cause an overflow right here. And I'm not sure if an overflow would even really matter. Um, so this crop right here may... Yep, this crop is going to die out. That sucks. But we have enough food to survive one die out. I'm not too worried about two days of drought. Um, we have enough farming up here. And this little bitty reservoir down here that fills up sometimes has really actually helped us because it's keeping a large area right here green. So that's nice. Um, in fact, it may be nice if I could blow a channel into it and dam it that way it gets higher up and becomes a secondary kind of like a pond right there but uh we only have less than a day of the drought left so and we're at 1.94 we're not doing bad 15 day drought only took us down one block or 14 day drought took us down just under a block of water out of our main reservoir uh we did dump all of our water out of our big reservoir up here but that's that's just because we were trying to get water down here. Not a big deal. Is what it is. It be what it be sometimes, you know? We still got logs down here that we can use for building. That's fine. Everything up here is dying out, though, as this water is away. So, um, this still has 
this dried out, but all of this is actually still watered because of this. So we're good on that. This will die in 10 days. That'll die in nine days. Neither of those are a big issue for me right now because the drought has ended, which means the water is going to come flooding back in. Just realized that I didn't have that staircase as a priority. Oops. But as the water comes flooding back in, it's going to overflow. I don't know how long this water she or this wet season is going to be. So um, let's see and I will see you all in a few minutes. Okay, we are back and we have a 15 day trout. Oh, this game is not pulling any punches. We may have an issue with the 15 day. As you saw last time on the 14 day, we were a day short of water down here. But we are making progress and soon we should have enough resources to do what we need to do. Uh, it's just, a race right now. We just need more water constantly. As you can see, they are building up right here, which is nice. It might help if I gave them a path up over here, though, so they could build that. So we're going to work on that, too. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're doing what we can. There's kind of a bad situation. Not a, not a very fun situation that we're in. Ugh. I don't know if I was ready for hard mode on this map. I really don't want to lose my beavers, though. They're so pretty. They're so cute. Look at them all. Just scurrying away. Carrying the logs. We, we got stuff to do, boys. Oh, it's a 15-day drought. I don't know if we'll make it. But our trees are starting to be planted, which is nice. Um, all of this should be high priority, so it should be getting built. Then again, everything appears also high priority. Um, no water is going to be coming in right now. So what if we just kind of drop the priority to like high, but not super high. Kind of like that. Yeah, we'll just drop it to that. That way the stuff down here can kind of get built. Um, I did get the large water tanks. So those are going to be high priority. So right now we need this built down here and in this order, and then we need this built up here. Oh, this, mm, we have 15 days to do it, so let's hope that it works. Let's hope that it works. Also, I need to find a way to get water into there. I'm thinking bridging across and making a water dump, actually. I'm putting one right here, and then pathing across it like that. That way we can fill this with water from our pumps over here. And it won't necessarily affect our uh, stuff too bad. And that's not too many resources. We can deal with that. That's not a super big deal to do that. Oh, look, they're almost done down here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
as soon as he's done down here, we'll have access to a larger wood area. And we'll start getting more logs coming in. We have logs up here. Um, well, this still needs to be built. That just needs logs, but logs are our prime resource right now. Uh, we also are going to be expanding this up one. So, as you can see, we have the infrastructure starting to be laid down to increase that reservoir. And now we have this, which is going to be 10 logs. How, wait, how did they get over there? Oh, he's going this way to build. The water pump's going to be built before these are. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't know they would go this way. I forgot that since I put the chestnut stuff there, but the chestnut stuff isn't built yet. Why is everyone thirsty? Okay, don't do that. Oh, water. You need water. Okay. Well, now we have a giant water storage tank. So that doubled our water storage just by existing. Which means we can start getting rid of some of these at least. Some of these smaller ones are kind of useless. We'll keep them for now though until we get more of these big tanks at least. These are going to bother me until the day they go away. I know they are. Mark resources for demolition. Okay, 11 days in the drought. We're going to see what happens. We've gone down 0.2, but my pumps are going to be working overtime trying to fill this new water storage up. And that's not including if another one gets completed in time. Um, yeah, I don't think another one's going to get completed anytime soon. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Our guys started planting down here. Which means we'll have maples soon. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. You like to see that. And just because I'm a psychopath, I'm going to pass around them because I like the way it looks when they're like that. There we go. And we can just get rid of those because they look ugly. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, beavers. We've got this, we've got this. So now the next big priority is going to be um, all of this. That's the big high priority right now. <clears throat> that and, of course, the water dump, which requires planks right now. Um, we're going to pause the gear workshop for a little bit. We don't really need the gears now. We have one of our big water tanks. I think we'll be okay for now. I think we'll be okay for now. That doesn't say much for later, but for now, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to be just fine. Um, I may move my water so I could build two more water pumps because I can't put it right there. Actually, I could put two water pumps right there and it wouldn't affect my stream gauge at all. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Nine days left. We've been six days into the drought relatively quickly. Water sources are looking okay. Not atrocious. How's that looking? Still needs ten planks. Still needs planks. Or still needs log planks. Planks. Logs. Planks. Logs. And planks. We need planks. Planks, planks, planks. Where have all of my planks gone? Are they going over here? I think this is where all my planks are going, so we're just gonna... We don't need the planks to go there for now. We need the planks to go... Well, there's probably no planks being made right now. Actually, there's plenty of them. We have 13 planks. What are you doing, dickheads? Do your jobs. We have haulers for a reason. We're going to need another breeding pod. This still needs to get built, so we're going to high prioritize him. Oh, this is terrifying, but we have some logs now, at least. We have a surplus of logs. We have surplus of water. We have surplus of food. We have ingredients, which is just potatoes. And we have a few surplus of planks, which is enough to build this water dump if they would ever get around to it. They have more or less enough for that. Okay. I like seeing them all scatter out of this. 
Let's see, what can we do? Well-being. What, what, what else can we do for their well-being? They have a teeth grindstone. Ooh, a double shower. They do need to wet their fur. And it does mean that they get one of their basic needs met. So we're going to put a shower right there. Nice little double shower. People can go play in the water for a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's not really a Lido, but it's good enough for now. Good enough for now. Charging, bot assembly, a number cruncher, and inventor. Okay, number cruncher, 500 horsepower, geez. We need these engines, but I need metal. So that's our next big priority. Um, we still have seven days left in this drought. We're at 2.23 water. The wood is getting planted and harvested. Our forestry is going a nice, decent way. We have actually made a decent amount of progress on the... Well, he doesn't have a choice now. He has to do it that way. Uh, decent progress has been made on this guy. Which is going to lead me to maybe build another wood storage up here or something. I don't know. We don't have enough wood storage right now. But we also don't have enough wood coming in to make good wood storage. 6.4 days left in the drought. How's the water looking? Low. But not low enough to cause a panic. Now uh, remember, this dried out at 13 days. This dried out at about 13 days as well. So as long as we can make it to 13 days, and then I can do an emergency dump of the other layer of water that's back here, I think we will be okay. Lyra hears me talking about water and gets thirsty. Don't you just love dogs? Okay, so our big storage tank over here is actually doing pretty well. We've emptied some of the smaller ones, but that's fine for now. We are going to need some water pumps, but oh, we have a, okay, so that's been built. Now I just need these to be built. <laughs> oh, because once we get this filled with water, it'll keep all of this kind of hydrated for a bit. And it'll give us a small area to kind of dump excess water and always keep our pumps running which is nice, but we need these frickin' things built. Do we have planks still? Yeah, we still have planks. Why do not? Build down here, right here. That's where the planks should be going. Why are y'all deciding to be my nightmares? Oh, they're building the planks up here, okay. So this is going to go back to being a normal priority for now, because I'm mostly worried about getting this built and keeping these alive. Wait, why? Why are we saying we don't have power? Why isn't he working? Here we go. Go to work, you lazy bastard. Go work. Okay, we got the first one built. Yay, they're finally doing their freaking job. There we go, second one built. Oh, the bums finally doing their freaking job. Come on, oh, into the work day. We still have four days left, so we've been 11 days into the drought. We are at water level two, which is not, not bad. Not bad at all. We have one unemployed beaver who will come work at our water dump here once it's done. Uh, that one's already done. It just needs to be built. And this one only needs four planks. So as soon as the planks come in, that one's going to get built. Should probably start building more storage for carrots because we're harvesting more than we're storing. Hmm. 3.5 days left in the drought. They've started work over here on this construction. Nice. 
Oh, the water dump is done. Um, we're gonna get rid of a hauler to go work there. You now work there, which means you're gonna dump water into here to keep water flowing constantly in this area. And that'll keep our crops over here green for the most part. Which means we don't have to worry about backflow and water in. We just keep this guy filled with water and we'll be good. We will be good. We have four tanks now. Okay. Things are starting to work, which means we can just go high prioritize all that again. Okay. As far as priorities are concerned, we're doing good. Uh, we're losing some potatoes because this did dry out on day 12.3, but that's fine. Um, as we continue to dump water into here, it'll hydrate, it'll stay hydrated right here. Our trees, they last for 10 days without water, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, they last 15 days without water, so yeah, I'm not super worried about the trees. It's mostly keeping the area right around the basin uh, hydrated, so we can keep water in that. And then, let's make sure this isn't going to dry out. Oh, that's about to dry out, so we're going to drop it down. Okay. Yep, there it goes. Perfect timing. So we're just going to dump our water into here completely, and that'll last the last two days. That'll fill it up just under a block. It's almost perfect. So we got that. Some of our potatoes are dying out. That's fine. We already knew that would happen. Everything that's happening over here is actually going perfect. Pretty, yeah, yeah, even that. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. We are going to have to build a way down into the river to build these. So we could do this and then just build a pathway along the back on the platforms. I think they'll be able to build. No. I don't know if they can build the side of the platform. I don't know. I really do not know. But we have made it through a... Well, we're 14 days into a 15-day drought. Actually, why don't I just do this instead of that? Instead of going up, we'll just go down. All right, we're gonna go right here, right here. Path over to it, and then there we go. We have made it to where we can get to our dams here. And in the next episode, we can make this even bigger because we're going to need a three high, a triple floodgate. Or we can, uh, no, we're going to need a triple floodgate. And it'll go right here, across, just like those. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything's working out perfectly. We're dumping a shit ton of water into this reservoir, but it's keeping us healthy and hydrated. This has finally decided to evaporate one block fully. We are down to 1.83 in this reservoir, which means that we have not, we don't have coverage in our backflow area anymore. Which is fine, we figured that would happen. In fact, I would like to dam up the backflow area and make this a whole block higher for us, just in case. But the drought has ended. So the water should start flowing in any second and start rehydrating our crops. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. We've made it. It was a 15-day drought, guys. That was asinine. We have made it through 10 cycles on hard mode. If you want to keep seeing a struggle, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.